The 20th century was about demolishing these old imperialist economies and building those based on symbiotic relations. The two world wars were like spasms in the transition. And the Cold War. Absolutely. And the fantastic thing is, the Cold War wasn't won by missiles. It was won by people like you and your husband. People in the East loved the free world for its art. It wasn't the hardware. It wasn't even rhetoric. It was the arts of the free world that kept leaking through until it became the flood that broke down the Berlin Wall. You cannot forget the fact that our relative prosperity helped. It made our art glamorous to people who didn't have much of anything. You are absolutely right. And that's why it's our responsibility to propose a new direction in consumerism, if you like. It's quite obvious we cannot go on expanding materialistically. There's no room on the earth. It's time to go deep, not big. High time we started thinking about the quality of life on this planet. With American art and culture. Yes. It's the new socially responsible commodity. It doesn't pollute. It doesn't ruin the rainforests. But haven't we been selling enough of it already? Who's left out there to buy them? Those people who spend all their lives assembling TV sets for American TLCs? TNCs. It's our motto to lead the public with new technology rather than ask them what they want. To paraphrase Akio Tomita, who was a friend of your father's. I believe anyone can be an artist. That's what technology is about. Before photography, we had to pay a trained painter for portraits of our loved ones. And there was no way the poor could afford it, even though remembering our forebearers was one of the first desires that distinguished man from apes. But now, anyone can, of course. I believe it too. That's why I have been making all these artworks that can be completed only by the viewer. And my job has been to make the technology accessible, no matter where you live, for sharing, communicating, and remembering. Don't you think this would bring about social change for the better? In the 1970s, the Pope predicted that capitalism and communism would come together in 500 years. Of course, it did just that in less than 30. But if I told you a hundred years ago that man would walk on the moon, you would have laughed at me. You can never underestimate the power of people's desire to move history. You have to help me bring the U.S. economy into the century of the soft after what you've begun by breaking up your husband's band. I've really enjoyed talking with you. By the way, the company name does not stand for Monopoly, as you two might like to think. My family comes from Monheim, a town near Dusseldorf. It was named after its founder, a nobleman named Mono. It means moon.